What is going on guys, my name is Baron of Developer B, and welcome back to episode 30 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the Boss Bar API within Bucket. So, pretty much what this allows you to do is create a custom Boss Bar with a bunch of customizable features in it, and you do not have to use NMS like you previously had to do, which is pretty much spawning a wither and like making it invisible and all this stuff. And if you guys don't know what NMS is, it is pretty much net Minecraft server. And it's apart from the bucket API, it's a little bit more complicated. And I will have tutorials on those because they are still needed to do some other cool things within bucket that the bucket API can't do. But for right now, we are sticking to the straight bucket API. We'll get into more of that a little bit later. But we can now actually use this boss bar API because Bucket implemented it in their Bucket API, which they didn't have before. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And also, if you guys don't know what this setup is, uh, you should go ahead and go watch my kicking and banning tutorial or my temp ban tutorial that has some of this in there too. And I'll put it in the top right corner. You should see it in the top right corner as a suggested video. But other than that, Pretty much what we are doing is creating a target and we're checking if he is online and then we are pretty much making our message and go ahead and check out that video if you do not know what this is. So let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial. It's going to be a quick one. Let's go ahead and type boss bar and as you can see, this appears under bucket and it's act an actual thing. So we're going to equal this to bucket.createBossBar. And as you can see, we get this nice little method right here that easily creates our boss bar so let's go ahead and choose that and we're going to have our string title first and our title is actually going to be the message so we are going to just say message right there and actually let's make it a, a color coded message so let's translate our alternate color codes from the and sign and then to message so it comes up pretty cool and we're not going to have them choose a bar color. This is going to be the color of the bar. So you can actually customize that, which is really cool. And all you do is say bar color dot. And then what should we make the bar color? This is a hard choice. Let's go ahead. Let's make it yellow. You know, yellow is a good color. And then we choose our bar style. Pretty much it's bar style. This is going to be how much of the bar is filled up. We're just going to do a solid bar. That's pretty simple. And then we can add different bar flags. And so if we go ahead and look at this, it'll say create flog, play boss music. You know, you can do all of that stuff, but we're not going to, we're just going to leave that blank. We don't really need that. And there we go. So there is our boss bar. And all we have to do is bar dot, and we could just add a player to the bar. But what we're going to do first is create a little delayed task. So it's going to send them a message and it is going to show the boss bar, but we're going to have it remove the boss bar after a certain amount of time. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. So this, and then go ahead and do that with a little delayed task. And then right here, we can just go ahead and set it to 10 seconds, which would be 200 ticks. And then right in here, we can just say bar dot remove player, player, or actually sender actually target my bad target and then we could go up here and say bar dot add player target and there we go so it is going to display the bar and then it's going to remove them after 10 seconds so they can fully read that message now this message can't be too big so you can restrict the characters if you want to but i'm not going to do that because we're just going to let's see it, what it does if it sends a really big message it may make multi lines i'm not sure Let's go ahead and build this. And here we go, boss bar messaging, build. And there we go, we got it. So let's go ahead and reload the server. We're actually going to go ahead and do this in the console. So let's go ahead and go right here. We are actually going to say B message, which is our command, developer B. And then let's type a really big message. So we're just going to say, this is, going to be a really big message and then let's switch colors to like and see and it will probably take up take up the entire screen and then let's go ahead and say and a i'm not really sure but 
and then and e let's try it out exclamation point actually and one exclamation point let's go ahead and see what this does this is going to be a really big message and as you can see it actually did it all right there it's a huge message but it actually fits on the screen and i don't think anyone will be able to type that in a real game so i don't know why i'm lagging so bad on here like look i'm getting decent fps but it just keeps giving me those lag spikes i don't know why but that is going to be it as you can see it removed the bar from up there too but that is going to be it guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode also I am going to be starting a new series that you guys should stay tuned for. I don't know if I'm going to continue it, but there's going to be a video coming out soon of a new series. I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy it or not. Let me know. But yeah, guys, I will see you guys soon.